So where does health care reform go from here? Joining us for a fair and balanced debate, Peter Mirajanian, former advisor to the Clinton-Gore and Gore-Lieberman campaigns, and Rick Tyler, founding director of Renewing American Leadership. So Rick, you just heard Peter say this thing is coalescing. It's going to happen. What do you think? Well, I think it's falling apart. I mean, uh, no one showed up with the Baucus bill. It certainly wasn't bipartisan. There's not a single Republican who's talking about supporting the bill. They're talking about uh, using reconciliation to uh, force the bill through. And uh, this bill is currently more, less popular than the fictitious bill that uh, President Obama talked about in his speech. But look, I think people, what people are beginning to understand is uh, when President Obama said to the speech that I will not pass this uh, if it adds a single dollar to the deficit. And what he means by that, which what he didn't say and what hasn't been covered, is that when you don't add a single dollar to the deficit to pay for this massive increase in spending, you have to increase taxes. And those are going to be increased taxes on, on numerous things, which are included in the Bacchus bill, by the way, and such things uh, th that are considered med medical devices in class two and three. But those are things like contact lenses and solutions, hearing aids, thermometers, diabetes test strips, oxygen bottles, wheelchairs, uh, condoms, and tampons. So since uh, King George put a tax on tea 236 years ago, we've gone from a revolt for, from a tax on tea to revolt on uh, Obama's tax on tampons. And, and it's not because people are racist or have a propensity to violence. They're just against it. And people understand that every tax is an encroachment on freedom.